Welcome to my race picking guide for classic World of Warcraft. We're going to assume you've picked what class you want to play. If you haven't, I have a video outlining the strengths and weaknesses for each and every class to help you make a more informed decision. In this video, I will help you decide on what race synergizes with your class for both PvE and PvP. We will also have the idea in mind of progressing into TBC. I won't be going into every single racial, only the ones that are very important and that will impact your performance. First up, we have the Warrior. For Alliance, Human is the go-to choice for PvE due to their plus 5 weapon skill in Swords and Maces, making them the best DPS in Tank. 305 weapon skill is borderline required for DPS and Tank. This gets changed into Expertise when we go into TBC, which will also be a very useful stat. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to give you more information about weapon skill. Humans also receive a bonus reputation gain with Diplomacy. This will be very useful for Zolgarub, the Argent Dawn reputation grind, and of course inside of Burning Crusade. For PvP, it's a toss-up as there's no clear winner. Dwarf has stone form, humans have perception making them really strong against rogues. This doesn't matter as much in classic as you can just pop a potion to achieve this, and gnomes having escape artists being really strong in PvP as well. If I had to pick, I would go with gnome for pure PvP. For horde, orc is the go-to race for PvE due to their plus 5 weapon skill and axes. 305 weapon skill is borderline required for DPS and tank. This gets changed into expertise in TBC, which will also be a very valuable stat. Orcs also get Blood Fury, acting as an additional attack power cooldown. However, it does reduce your healing by 50%. For tanks, Orc and Troll are very similar. I would go Troll if you're going to be the main tank, as Berserking will increase your threat generation. Beastling is also a nice additional buff, but you mainly care about Berserking. For PvP, Orc is the go-to choice due to their 25% stun resist with Hardiness. Torn and Undead are both a tad bit behind, with War Stomp being useful in some scenarios. And if it still works, Torrents have sort of a hidden racial, being able to hit things farther away. These used to work in TBC Arena, being able to hit things through the pillars. And in PvP, Will of the Forsaken isn't all that useful since you can just stance dance into Berserker stance and remove fears. However, one thing to note is you can break out of mind controls and sleep dust. For Druid, this one is pretty simple since you only have one option, either Tauren or Night Elves. I'll leave this one up to you to decide, so here's a full list of all of their racials. If I had to pick, I would go Torrin for that War Stomp, although you might have to shift out to be able to use it, and TBC, as I recall, you should be able to use it in tree form. This will also be very nice inside of arenas. On top of that, you do get a bonus herb skill, which can be very nice for picking herbs in TBC when druids get flight form. Next up is the Rogue. For Alliance, Human is the winner again due to their weapon skill and their reputation gain. For PvP, either Dwarf and Gnome are very similar, both having their pros and cons in their niche uses. Human are also very good in TBC Arena due to their perception racial, being very strong against the double rogue as well as rogue mage. If I had to pick, I would pick gnome for pure PvP, but going into TBC, I would highly recommend playing human. For Horde, it's very simple. Orc is very good for PvE and PvP as well, with their Blood Fury racial giving them additional attack power. Troll is also really good for PvE, getting benefit from Berserking and Beast Slaying. However, I prefer playing Orc as they're good in both PvE and PvP. For pure PvP, I would go Undead for Will of the Forsaken, but Orcs are also a very good option in PvP due to hardiness. Moving on to Paladin, there are only two choices, so this one's pretty simple. For PvP, I would go Dwarf for Stone Form. For PvE, I would go Human for that weapon skill and that increased reputation gain. Both will perform very similar when it comes to healing. You're not really going to see a huge difference. Going into TBC, I would highly recommend playing Human, as Expertise is going to be a very valuable stat if you play Ret Pally or Prop Pally. Next up is the Hunter. For Alliance, Night Elves are generally the preferred race, as they do have a higher base agility, but both are honestly really solid choices. For PvP, I would go Dwarf for the Stone Form, being the more beneficial racial out of the two. For Horde, Orc is the clear winner for PvP due to hardiness and that extra pet damage. For PvE, they're very similar, but Troll will come out on top a little bit due to that weapon skill in Bows and Berserking. Bow skill doesn't have the same impact as melee weapon skill, also Beast Slaying will help inside of raids as well. But going into TBC, I would recommend going Orc as Blood Fury will now benefit you with ranged attack power, as in Classic, it only benefits melee attack power. Also, Command becomes more valuable since you'll be playing Beastmaster inside of TBC. For Shaman, you have a couple of options, Orc being the clear winner for PvP due to hardiness, 
Torrent's War Stomp has some niche but fun uses, being able to stun your opponents into one-shotting them with a Chain Lightning. For PvE Enhance, I would go Orc for that Weapon Skill and Blood Fury, which again gets changed into Expertise going into TBC. For Resto and Ellie, I would go Troll for PvE due to Beast Slaying and Berserking. Next we have the Mage. For Alliance, Gnome are the winners for both PvP and PvE, due to that increased intellect giving you a little bit more crit, and Escape Artist for PvP. Human is the runner-up with Perception being very good against Rogues, and their increased spirit will be very nice for Evocation. However, Evocation is changed to 60% of your total mana in TPC, making Gnome the clear choice moving forward. For Horde, this one's very simple. If you want to PvE and you care more about raiding, go Troll for Berserking and Beastlang, and if you care more about PvP and Arenas, go Undead for Will of the Forsaken. Up next, we have the Warlock. For Alliance, Gnome is the winner again for PvP and PvE, due to that increased intellect giving you a little bit more crit, and of course, Scape Artist for PvP. Human is the runner-up with Perception being very good against Rogues. Their spirit isn't going to benefit them a whole lot inside of raiding. For PvE, Orc and Undead are very similar, with Will of the Forsaken being useful on certain encounters. However, for PvP, Orc and Undead both have their pros and cons. I think Orc is better in PvP, Will of the Forsaken is great and all, but if you have a Priest or a Fell Hunter alongside you, you can just dispel it. You do have the occasional Sleep Dust, Mind Control, or Charm that you can break out of, which is niche and has its uses, but I think it's very important to think about your number one counter being a Rogue. Being able to resist a stun can win you the duel against them. If you plan on playing Warlock in TBC, make sure that you go Orc, as Blood Fury will now benefit you with Spell Power instead of just Attack Power. Lastly, the Priest. Each priest will get a unique ability depending on what race you pick. Fear Ward being one of the most important, but becomes baseline for all priests in Burning Crusade. For Alliance, Dwarf for both PvE and PvP due to Fear Ward, Stone Form, and Desperate Prayer. Meanwhile, Night Elves get Elune's Grace and Star Shards, which aren't all that useful if I'm being honest, and then Humans get Desperate Prayer and Feedback. While they both have their niche uses, I'd still prefer to play Dwarf. Going Dwarf Priest can almost secure you a raid spot, Players will invite you solely off of the fact that you have Fear Ward. For Horde, Undead are the clear winners for PvP due to Will of the Forsaken. Devouring Plague is a nice extra bit of damage, although it is a disease so you can have it just dispelled off of you. And if you're getting focused by a melee, Touch of Weakness can be a helpful debuff. Troll is the winner for PvE, for healing, and shadow DPS, due to Berserking and Beastlang. For PvP, Troll is actually really fun and unique to play. Shadow Guard can also proc Blackout, being a very good dueling class, especially when you're fighting a class that can't fear you. Troll can sometimes be a little bit stronger than Undead. And then on top of that, you also get a Hex of Weakness, which you can cast on players, acting as kind of a Mortal Strike debuff. But for the most part, if you care more about PvP, go Undead. If you care more about PvE, go Troll. And even more so when you go into Burning Crusade, as Troll will become more valuable playing Shadow. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you get a better idea on what to pick going into Classic WoW. I will be making more Classic WoW videos in the future, my next video being a profession picking guide. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss when I post that new video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.